Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Eye of the Beholder. In the last episode, we fought through the Mantis Hive, exploring it completely, and discovered a guarded pit, which led us down to level 11. And according to the maps that Roikvis has been consulting, it was the only way to get down here from the levels above. No staircase or portal would bring... Well, there's a portal... But we didn't have what it took to actually activate it. That hopefully is changed now that we have a portal key here. This stone orb that we found within, I think it was this room or one close by to it. Everyone, we are nearing the end of the game. If we do not beat the game in this episode, it will happen not too far into the next one. There's still more stuff to explore. Obviously, we haven't been through every single portal, but I can't imagine that there's more than two and a half hours left in the game, if that. Hope you guys have liked playing this game. I have greatly enjoyed my time in it again. I'm looking forward to taking Scavi, Roikvis, Kokorhekas, and Alexander to us with us to the next uh, game when we play it. I have fond memories of the next one, although I think I only beat it once, and it was a long time ago. In any case, for our characters themselves, they don't have anything that they didn't... Like, no significant power increases since the last time we played. Uh, I think our mages can cast 4th level spells now, and our clerics have access to 5th level. But we haven't found any other significant magical equipment down here. This writ of, of this letter of Mark has not been... It's turning out not to be really rewarding. But the fame we'll get for possibly bringing down this Beholder and gaining in the strength uh, from killing all these creatures down here is lucky to go a long way for this group of, of adventurers in the future. Alright, so we had been fighting Zorn down here when we had last left off, if I recall correctly. And now that that is done... Where am I, by the way? Okay, right. Now that that's done, we fought for that portal key. It is time now for us to see if we can find... Where on earth am I? Oh, okay, I see where I am. Okay. Start looking at the map. We were told by Shindia that there is a potion of poison down here that she used to poison the Dwarven King. We should get that potion in order to save that king. I'm sure Kiergar will be really thrilled that his father has been saved. You know, I have doors for my, my actual modeled dungeon from the Dwarven Forge uh, Kickstarters that look a lot like this face now that I think about it. She did mention a hallway of levers. And this would be it, I think. A clear skull cures through his wounds. That is useless to us. Dwarven healing potion. You will absolutely take that. Now, I don't know what this does. What these levers do. I just, I have them here. Oh, okay, so certain ones, when you flip certain switches, certain other switches get flipped. Is that correct? Because if I flip them all down, yep, some are back to being up again. Okay, so do we, do we, wait, I don't think we do this on screen, everyone, because I would want to take notes. 
I was hoping this would be easy, like each switch flips the two switches next to it. But it doesn't do it doesn't seem to work that way. Okay, well they're all down now. Did that do anything for us? Nope. <laughs> So on the off chance that this puzzle isn't doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, this is probably like actually let's try flipping them all up if we can. Since down didn't work, maybe flipping them all up will. A wand taken. Oh! Maybe this is the wand. So, remember that we were told that the dwarves had... Or Shindia has a wand. The drow have a wand, which is able to... Or no, it's the dwarves who have the wand. Someone has a wand that's able to harm a beholder. One of the few magic items that can do so. Maybe that's it. Scavi, you'll hold on to that wand. Oops, as Tim hits F5 to quick save the game. That's not how this works, Tim. It's the wrong game. It's the wrong game. I've been playing a lot of a game called Starcom Nexus, and I'm thinking about recording it. I'm probably going to do that. And upload it sometime later in the year. But F5 is how you quick save in that game. Same with uh, Aeon of the Sands. That was a game I was trying out that I thought maybe would fit the bill for a party-based first uh, real-time three-dimensional dungeon crawler. And it doesn't because it's not party-based. But it's still, it's still a lot of fun. So I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and record that one after all. Is that a secret? No, okay. This is nothing but a dead end according to the map. And that's all it is here, too. Nothing. Okay. So that was the entirety of the north section from where we first entered this area. Let's see what section is opened to us next. The east section. I think we want to go this way next. I'm imagining Roikvest is pretty excited because he's noticing that the runes are pointing out something which translates roughly to power orb. But we don't know what's down here. I swear I hear something moving. However. Yeah, I hear more Zorn. I hear their footsteps echoing through these hallways. Oh god! That's a mind flailer! And everyone's paralyzed! Okay, that door is open, which is good. Except Sca- Oh, nice kill, Scavi. Well done. Quirker Heckus also is not paralyzed, but the people who could unparalyze us uh, are paralyzed, so. In Dungeon Hack, you would think you could cast- <laughs> You would think, mistakenly, that you would be able to cast Remove Paralysis at this point, but no, that's not the way that works. Well, good work, Scavi and Quirker Heckus. Thankfully, the mind flares, that mind flare looked like it was rather weak, not much, not much hit points. Mind flailers, or how do you pronounce it? Illithids, I think? Uh, have mental capa uh, mental powers, psionic powers. I never really liked it that much, that they use some sort of different rule system for their powers. So I just usually, add, when I was playing Dozen Dragons, would make it act as like a, a different type of spell. Which uh, didn't require any type of component to cast it. Okay, but, well, I guess it did have them have occasionally, like, a somatic component. I don't think Illithid spoke. They used telepathy when they wanted to communicate with others. 
but they have they can paralyze people as you've just seen and they have like a mind blast ability i think if they can hit you with their tentacles uh and you're and you can't move they can use it to like in, uh reach your brain and instantly kill you or something to the effect a sign says shawat Watch, watch. Is probably what that says or means. Secret button. We're still paralyzed, by the way. Uh oh, this is Orn. Really want to do that? Ooh, I ran into my own arrow. All right, everyone's back. Please don't swap. I wish there were hotkeys for this. I, in particular, I wish that the swapping mechanic did not involve me having to right-click on someone's face to make them to make that happen because that is really annoying. And here I am, like. Potentially the last video in the series is still complaining about the game support. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm glad to have found that little button. Nothing on the walls here. Let's get another bless going. I guess, Alexander, you can also heal. Mind flailer. Have to be quick. Because it's quick. Yes! I like that they're completely silent. I don't remember what sound they make when they attack you. I just remember the first time I saw one. I never wanted it to actually be able to hit me in melee. And we have a key here. Another drow key. Nothing on these walls. I'm missing a javelin on you, Anya. There it is. Oh, and a rock. All right, let's get those back. And continue. Bit of a power, uh, not power creep, but surge? The level of danger we're in down here has jumped dramatically since the level above. Mantis and Thrykeen are dangerous, but not that bad. Not compared to Illithids and Swarms, that's for sure. Sure. Another Illithid. Just hanging out there. We gotta make sure it's not visible to us. Hey! Crooker Heckus gained a level of experience points. That would be a thief level for you. You only gained one hit point, though, Crooker Heckus, which is a bit annoying. But I'm not gonna reload that now. Even though I should. One hit point as a thief level is awful. But we'll keep you. You're just gonna basically be mostly. Oh, you're not gonna be on the front line no matter what. So, hello. A spell book, which. I don't think has anything new in it. Some bracers, which are probably magical. A ring. Some human bones. So this is a mage. Flicka! Another magic dagger. We can give this to you, Anya. And a robe. I don't think any of the robes are magical to my recollection in this game. This ring is magical. The bracers are also magical. Let's see. 
Oh, you guys have armor classes of one. Alexander, what's your armor class? Three. If I give this to you. Armor okay, your armor class also drops to one. Why not? Everyone will have at least an armor class of one from the original party. Flicka is indeed magical. Oh, I keep hitting a five. <laughs> it's not quick save, Tiv. There is no quick save in this game. All right, let's see what was in the other direction. So I'm guessing these are these isolated rooms contain individual rooms, obviously, where the mind flayers are doing experimentation. Yeah, I was about to say because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's another one here. Unfortunately, my flowers, they never really could uh, tackle corners very well. Just, just beyond them, you know, they're very powerful, but their psionic powers are no match for quick feet and uh, hiding out of line of sight. Almost done with this area, and that's half of level 11 done. Oh, I'm I'm sensing more wine fillers behind these. That's that would be correct. Power to the face. Yeah, good hits, guys. Greg just leans around the corner and hits it with an arrow. Good job. Good job. I guess I will take this robe. If there's an orb of power here. This will be the first time we'll find one, and that can be used to identify all of the items we possess. If we can bring it back up to that one room on level 4. I'm pretty sure that in the second one of these games, I have Boulder 2, obviously, it's second. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to add that qualifier there, but I totally did. In any case, in I Boulder 2, I think creatures can shut doors. Oh, I forgot they were immune to magic. Have or at least have some magic resistance. I thought we hit one with the magic missile before, but I might have been mistaken. Good job, guys. Mind fillers dealt with. Hmm. Nothing here. Something here. An orb of power. We absolutely want to use this. Okay, everyone. So let's... Oh, we also have the Dwarven Healing Potion, of course, so... Oh, but this is not where the orb is used. I need whatever that is. It's not the pendant. It's not the necklace. It's not the orb. It's not the scepter. It's not the dagger. So we don't have what it takes to activate this portal at this point. So we gotta keep going. Either we miss it down here, or... It's not here. All right, well, let's continue then. So, south passage next. Looking at this map, this will eventually lead us to level 12. So maybe we should take a different passage instead to start and take the western exit. So let's do that. You know, my fullers are evil. So we'll get 
get that going on you, Scavy. Hmm. There's not a lot in this section, according to the map. A ring. Is it a magical ring? It is. It's not. No, I'm sorry, it's not. Just a normal sapphire ring. And you can have a second one of those. Actually, we should give it to one of our companions. Even if it isn't magical, they'd still want it. That's like a few months worth of rest of relaxation someplace with everything paid for. Magical banded mail. Slasher. Plus four sword. That sounds amazing. Do I drop the chief in Halberd for it? I think we do. So you can use this, Scavy. I think the band mail is also like plus two. It's negative two. It's minus three band, uh, magical banded mail. So we should give that to you as well, Scabby. So, oh, it's the same as your plate mail? Negative one. It's the same. All right, never mind then. Wakefest, you can have that. For minus two, then this banded mail can't be worn by Kukrohekas. Could be worn by Alexander if I don't want him to wear plate mail for some reason. But I can't think of why I would do that. This is better than what Anya's wearing, though. That was rather nice. Thank you, game. Giving us some better some better weaponry. I now can get can give a shield to Scavi. Or an offhand item. I don't really have a dagger any longer for him. And you can't do wield yet. Yeah, you can't do wield a mace. Um We do have a normal shield we could give you. Actually that's a shield minus one, so we'll give you that. That's a better shield. Well, that was worth it. All right, that's all of that area. So the only way direction for us to go now is south. Well, we have a drow key. I'm assuming that's what opens this. And I heard ever so briefly the dainty footsteps of Zorns. I'm not sure which way to go. Let's go this way to start. For some reason, I think we should leave a stone there. Oh, that's interesting. Things have absolutely changed. Oh, what what the heck is happening? We're being teleported and rotated. A whole monster scroll. I don't know who. I'm pretty sure someone already had one of those. Uh, no, neither of them do. Again, this is Gulver Hekus is likely to be to be using a bow. Roy us can get that, uh, can scribe that scroll. So that's where we've been already. A wand. We don't know what this one does. Anya, you'll hold on to that. Haven't been using the wands at all, have I? They effectively might as well not exist, given how I prefer to use actual spells from our spellbook or holy symbols. Right, that's where we started from. We've seen another door. So I would like to see if we could make it to that other door. This is it. 
Alright, let's leave something else here. Okay. I'll take some free treasure. A medallion of some sort. Architect magic has been used. I'll give that to you. Raised dead. Another raised dead scroll. Not that we've needed one of them so far in the game. I have a feeling there's more than just two doors. But I don't know how to check this. <laughs> This is so frustrating. <laughs> this is actually a great puzzle because I don't know what I'm... I just want to make it to that door game. Okay, so let's... If I go here... I, I don't have a good feeling for where this is teleporting me. That's the one that has the food in front of it. There's the rock one. Okay. Um. I I think I'm done with this puzzle. <laughs> I don't care what else is here. That's uh that's gonna be too time consuming. I'm willing to throw it toss in the towel there. That sounds like there's Zorn on the other side of this. I would be wrong. I would be right. Kaigar leveled up, and he gained 13 hit points. Good work, sir. That will go a long way to keeping you alive. Zorn apparently have magic resistance. Man, that took a quite a takes quite a bit of effort to kill a Zorn. They have good a good armor class, which is difficult to hit, and they're resistant or immune to certain types. I think they're resistant to magic, which means that the, your spells fail from time uh, from time to time. I don't. Nope. Keep it to yourself. All right. So let's see. I thought I heard another one, but thankfully I don't see any others or hear any other footsteps. Everyone, I'm pretty sure this leads this will lead us down to level 12. So before we head down there, there are a there's a handful of more rooms to explore on this floor. We need a key. Hello, Mind Flailer. Do you like me clicking on my shield? I'm so sorry, Mind Flailer. I know this isn't this isn't fair. Oh, the orb brings us down to that floor on level twelve. All right, well, if, man, okay. How do I get... I guess we're ending the game without without curing the, the king. We don't have the... We don't have the Ankh, Eddie. There was an Ankh, wasn't there? Was there? 
We don't have a magic ankh. But I feel like I missed it somewhere. Or maybe it still has to be found. This is a different room. We weren't in here before. Gavin Kukrahekis, once again, are the only two who are not paralyzed. This means Gavin Kukrahekis are going to be the only two to kill the evil octopus faced monstrosity. Good job, guys. It's <laughs> like, what have you been bringing the rest of you here for? Why are you even here? All you do is get paralyzed by these things. This is the way to level 12 again, if my map is to be believed. I'm, I'm imagining Scavi is carrying Roikvis and Anya under his arms, and Kirgar on his back, and Kukrahekis is just barely uh, is pushing Alexander around. Ooh. That's an another mind flailer. In the face! Good job, guys. Good job. Another mind flare defeated. All the arrows retrieved. And let's see what was in that room. Maybe we can find an Ankh? No. Okay, then. I, f I have a feeling that I left it on the ground thinking it was a holy symbol. And if I did that, and I did that on a floor above us, then that sucks. <laughs> because I don't think we're getting back upstairs. Uh, let's double back and check the places we had le just left. Oh, also, it's getting dark. Put on a light so I can see. We could probably beat the game in about five minutes or ten minutes at this point. Given where I think the Beholder is down below. But I would like to get back to level... Back to level four, or, or and, and or five, but we need that onk. Let's see, what is this? This is the west side. I guess it could be in this puzzle. I don't think it is, so I'm not going to go that way. This is where we fought the Zorns originally. Let's explore this again. I don't think they respawned yet. This is where we no, this is where we found the orb, the key to access level 12. There is nothing else here. This is where we this is not where we started from. This is where we got the whatchamacallit from though. We also got the wand from there this is where we started from and there's no onk here mm. that was just a big dead end in up here but you know what we're gonna check anyway yep i don't see anything A part of me likes this, because I wasn't thorough enough to find it, and I don't know where we missed it. I do not have it. A part of me hates this, because I want to go back up and get my equipment identified. 
so let's go back to where we picked up the orb of power. Let's uh, check that corpse again. I think Tim, there was a spell book there, but not an Ankh. It could be on level 12. I might not have missed it. Oh my god. Okay. I ignored it. <laughs> it was there. So this wasn't a clear, this was a mage. And the mage had the Ankh. Okay. Oh, thank god. I double backed. I thought I had noticed one on the ground. Holy crap. You guys probably were screaming at the screen. Tim, there was totally a holy symbol back there. You missed. So thankfully... Thankfully, we have it now. All right, let's go back upstairs then. You know, we didn't find the ring one either, did we? We don't know where that one is. So, we want to go back to the dwarves. I th think that's this one. No, it's not. It's this one. Okay. Let's save the game and see how happy the dwarves are. Or rather, I think we have to go to the cleric. Oh, we don't. This should awaken the king, Scabby exclaims, giving the potion to the cleric. Skeptically, the cleric administers the potion. A few moments later, King Terago awakens, still weak, but very much alive. Quickly, the dwarves explain the past events to the King Terago, including your part in awakening him from the coma. Gratefully, the king thanks you. Brave adventurers, you have saved my life. Please accept this, our most precious gift. I can tell you little about it, save only that it will aid you in your darkest hour. What, what did we get? I don't know, and I don't know who got it. Oh, here it is on the ground. Okay, it's a wand. The wand of Slivius. Okay, so this is the wand that can be used against the uh, the beholder. Who's going to get it? I guess Roikvist should have this. Okay, can we... I guess we'll leave some more bones here. <laughs> this is becoming like a graveyard uh, at the moment, I suppose, with all the different human bones. But we don't need to resurrect everybody, anybody else, I suppose. We are done. Okay, so... If we talk with the cleric, we don't need to be healed. So there's nothing there we need. All right, we're done. So let's close this door. And we want to now go back to where the Oracle of Knowledge is. Nice, which is right here. 
which is not right there. It's the other other direction. I'm pretty sure it's the other way, Tim. I don't want to get the map out. I know it's right here somewhere. I think I think it is here. Is this it? No. We got we got cure poison potions from there, Tim. Oracle of knowledge. Right, everyone. I think I think the way this works is we put this orb here, and then every item we possess is identified. Let's find out. Chieftain Halberd plus five. Wand of Frost. Ring of Adornment, so not magical. Ring plus two. Yep, every single item we possess has been identified. Oh, we can keep putting it there, I suppose. There is the orb of devour, uh, a room of devouring, or orb of devouring, or something down below, which I think eats this orb. But I don't know what it does for you if you do so. In any case, everyone, we're gonna beat the game right now. Uh, I can't think of why we would delay. We've explored all of level seven, and level twelve from my map is not very large, because I think I blundered into the beholder almost right away. So let's let's get ready for that. Whatever it is that wand of stick. <laughs> I'm assuming that means it's not magical. Let's go with that. Uh, we're not going to need these normal. Actually, I guess we'll hold on to these normal daggers. But because I plan on transferring my characters who uh certain characters i want to make sure that they have the magic items i guess we will give this to you anya wand of stick not a magical rock rock plus two what oh they're magical there's some of the rocks are magical everyone i had no clue how about that? So if if it's got boss on it, it does it's plus two, and if it's a if it's a molten rock, it's plus one. Oh, what the hell? That's a cursed sling. This whole time I thought it was a plus two sling. Well, we don't want that. Even if I have magic rocks, I'd rather just hurl these. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh man. How about that? All right. I thought you were a plus two sling this entire time, Cursed Sling. Man. Luckily, we can take it off Alexander. The Drow Bow has nothing special about it. Robe of Defense. And just a normal robe. The Robe of Defense. Holy crap! AC1 if you're wearing Kukorhekas. What is... How about this one? Still also one, so it's the same armor class adjustment. Lowers it by two. Um, we'll give you the magic robe. So we could give you both. Let's do that. I mean, a rod of frost. We're not actually going to be really needing any of the wands. Ring plus three. Ring of feather fall. Ring of protection plus two. Who else needs a ring? Right fist, what are you using? Let's see. Bended mail plus three. Luckstone medallion. This would give you a plus one to everything. Uh, that's probably better given to Alexander. Oh, he has a luckstone medallion as well. Uh, I'm going to rest everyone really quick. Are those magical? They are. Okay. So the way Luckstones worked in 2nd edition, if I recall correctly, is it gives you a plus one to all your rolls. E effectively a permanent bless. Wing of Wizardry. Wing of Featherfall. I want you to have those. Drow Cleaver. Wand of Lightning. I guess we can give the Wand of Lightning to you, Royquist, to hold on to.
Okay, quicker Hekas. Yeah, drop boots don't do anything. None of your other gear is magical. Alexander. Bracers plus two. I guess we'll give you a Mace of Protection plus two. Sorry, a Ring of Protection plus two. And I think... Mythical Shield plus one. Out of Frost, Chieftain Halberd, Dwarven Shield plus one. We'll make that change since we're bringing Scabby with us to the next area. All right! So that is all of our gear moved around. I guess you can hold on to Wanda Frost Kygar. Lightning. Lightning. Let you hold on to those. Slivius's wand. Okay. So that does it, everyone. We are all geared out and ready to beat the game. Just a hop, skip, and portal away from it. Then back to life, back to reality. Who has the Ankh? Alexander does. So we didn't find the ring, and we didn't find the gem anywhere here. We know, I think it's the ring, brings us to the Kenku. And I think there is a room with treasure in it that we missed by not finding the gem. They might be on level 12. I think we pretty much explored everything to the fullest, or I thought we did. Obviously, I'm I'm wrong though. Actually, I'm not wrong because we we, did, we have left stuff at level twelve. There might be one another portal key down there, but we're just gonna leave it down there. The group is exhausted. We've been in this dungeon for weeks now. The Lords of War, you have probably sent other. Well, maybe not. Maybe they just gave up at this point and we're like, ah, eh, we weren't really sure there's anything happening down there anyway. <laughs> All right then. Well, let's prepare for this, so... Time to go. Welcome, everyone, to the final floor in Eye of the Beholder. Okay. Let's save the game. And begin looking for our way out. The few notes that are here indicate that there is a trap on that spot and a lever here, but I'm just going to let it stay. Turn back. No trespassing. Well, you know, our aid spells lasted an entire, like, one minute. Let's get them up again. I think this one says you were warned. You were warned. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is not in my notes. How about that? I have a good memory. Of this. Everyone, say hello to stone golems. Of course they'd be immune to magic because why would, why would the game let you use your uh, mages?
thankfully we can just dance around them oh, or or just slaughter them a skull key found we'll take that thank you very much Uh-oh. I hear another one. Please stop swapping. Please stop doing that as well. Because I don't see magic working, like, I just don't want to even waste the, the spells on them. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Let's take back all of our equipment. Now, the way the game works uh, when it comes to the ending is that I don't believe the game saves your characters after you beat uh, Xanathar. And so what that means is that when our characters are brought over to the next game, they're brought over in whatever state they are uh, the last time you had saved the game. So you lose all that experience points you would have gained from killing uh, Xanthar. This, it worked this way as well in games like I the uh, pulled the Pool of Radiance series. In fact, I remember never beating Pool of Radiance besides the first time because I realized that all the effort of beating Tarant uh is wasted since you don't get anything for doing so. Actually, can you... No, I don't think you can... Maybe you. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can keep playing the game after that point, but I don't remember that being the case. We should probably get a stone skin going, just to be safe. According to what I see here, based on the map I've drawn... We're, we're practically at the boss. He's, I think, down this corridor here. If what I'm seeing is to be believed. These switches, I have written down teleports. So I think it, they teleport you to different areas. But I don't know which switch does what. So I guess we'll come back here if I'm wrong about what's lying, what lies ahead. necklace oh i think we lose items here yeah we've lost a bunch of items just by walking in here i think skull key okay we'll take that yes we've lost things these are our things yep every time we take an item more items get dropped on it that sucks can I just load the game? I don't want to have to deal with this nonsense. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> we must lose items that are on us as we walk past that. So I don't want to touch any of that. I will take this key though, because it looks like we're allowed to do that. Oh my god, that was a one-time use key? I wasn't expecting that. That was a very weak stone golem. Oh god, 14 damage though. hear another one back there because I hear more movement. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Good work, guys. I can't believe that I was using a freaking cursed sling this entire freaking time. This is awful. Alexander has a better chance of hitting the things by th by throwing them. Potion of Vitality. I think this cures your hunger meter entirely. Invisibility, we don't need that. Vitality, we don't need that. Invisibility, we don't need that. Oh, well, those keys proved to be useless. They didn't do anything for us but give us this room that has a handful of Vitality potions. I don't like the what they look like, though. I don't know if I trust that. I don't trust it. I don't like the green coloring of it. Well, then that was pointless, me coming into here. Alright, well, let's keep exploring the rest of level 12. So he wasn't where I thought he was. We don't need any of that garbage. Should I reload the game? To get back that one key? I, we'll keep we'll keep playing, but I can't save the game again then. If we need another skull key... Well, I guess what will happen to everyone is this. I, I'm going to save the game, because we just fought some, some creatures and killed them. And if we, uh, if we can't make it to Xanathar, because I just saved the game, we'll just stop here. Alright, so where did this teleport us? Oh! That's interesting. Back here again. Does it always do that? It does. And that one doesn't look like it teleports. Or maybe now this ch changes where we teleport? Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know where I am. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, we're just outside this again. Oh no. Okay, it doesn't do do that. Okay, so. We need to, I need to mark places, so let's see. So let's... Let's leave... I don't really want to leave that behind. Yeah, sure. We'll leave a raised dead scroll here to remind me that I've been here before. Okay, and we haven't been out in this hallway yet. Let's see. We should leave something that's not a scroll on the ground. So let's leave... Cure Poison Potion. Save the game and head back down this way. Looking at my map, I don't... Oh, okay, I might know where we are. There should be a room down this way. It's going to curve to the left... Go a little more forward, and there'll be a door on our right, if I'm correct. Yep. There's nothing in there. All right, then. Uh, I do like the coloring. Uh, and the eyes everywhere for the beholder we are. We are screwing off against. Okay. What did that do? We have a wand here. I'm not going to take that. I don't think I care. Let's move on. I don't trust it. 
a long hallway that will lead us to a room down the other side. Surprised there aren't more traps down here. Room of the Spheres. Oh, okay. Can I do that? I can do that, but that does nothing. Oh, no! Okay, unless I can't take the, the exit portal back. Okay, so we need something to open this up. And I don't know what it could be. But we also don't have to go that way if the map is to be believed. Okay, another... Another chamber. Slightly different. Let's leave a... Some foodstuffs here. And once again, check this passage first. And nothing. Man, Dungeon Master is just running a module that has empty rooms where he's supposed to fill things in, and he didn't. <laughs> this is boring. This is boring. Where's all the traps for monsters? At least put some instant death traps somewhere in here for us, Game Master. Okay, perhaps this is the room he's in. But I better be sure of this. Like, how, how am I... Where am I... Okay, we're running in there if necessary. Nope. I see the... Pre I see the... The plate right in front of that door, too. Uh-oh. That shuts the door behind us here. And this room is not on my map. So I'm... At this point, we're flying blind, everyone. I'm going to start leaving more marks behind so I know where I've been. Ooh, secret room with another portion of invisibility. Okay. I'm... Okay, I remember something. There is a instant death trap in here. Yes. That can kill Xanthar. But everyone needs to be invisible, I think, for him not to detect you. We're going to kill him. Not use the trap. I think it would be funner. And besides, I didn't take those invisibility... Well, we have an invisibly 10-foot radius spell, I thought, on someone. <laughs> I might have it, but it's not memorized. There it is. You have to give up a fireball if I want you to have it like this. Let's let's wait and see if we need it. It will affect all of us, so we don't need those invisibility potions. I guess they're dropped in case for some reason you didn't take a mage with you in this in this adventure, which I guess you don't have to do. There must be challenge runs for people. Key. Well, guess what? I don't think I have an extra skull key. We've used them. And none of these other keys are going to work. I doubt you can pick the locks. So we're not getting into that room. Food rat. Oh no, something's happening. Okay, can we... I put those there, we get to food. Okay, all this is is like shifting food around? I don't care then. Or do I care?
Okay. Another door. We can't open Oh, we can't open it. Oh, God! That's a golem. It's a good thing our mage is high level. You can't do anything to it. What's... Oh, there's a... That's, that's not a passage. Spend all that time leveling your mage in a game like this. I'm, I'm going to complain, everyone, okay? I'm going to complain. So don't have leveling a mage like this, and then, like, I have a great idea for a, a creature that they can fight at the very end of the level. Somebody that's immune to magic. That'll be fun. Yeah, thanks for that, game designer. <laughs> uh, spend all this time leveling, leveling that mage. Casting, casting your one or two spells he's got in very few select situations. Well, if I'm not to be able to do anything on the final level, what does this mean? Why would you? Why would you do that? Oh, okay. We do need these, I suspect. We'll take two of them, leaving one there. So these must be used on that platform. That had mentioned the orbs of power. Well, I'm super glad we found this secret room. <laughs> at this point, I like to imagine the adventurers just complaining about everything at this point. Because now they're now they're actual adventurers. And like they're expecting like something in in this room. And there's like nothing here. There's no there's no treasure. Are any of these walls secret? Nothing to click on. Nothing to click on. Nothing to click on. No illusionary walls. Nothing to click on. Okay, well, that's just that's just fantastic. Thanks for wasting our time. It's like that puzzle up a few levels above, where it wasn't a puzzle at all. It wasn't a puzzle at all. If we can, all right, let's shut this. Or not. We'll just click it. Uh, did another one of these show up? No, okay. Well, so much for that. All right, so... Well, I guess we're going back this way. And we came from this direction. I'm not going to use that plus five weapon. I should probably really hold on to it. Drop you there. Actually, we should be that open. I didn't take those teleporters yet, and I'm not going to. Where was that? It was in this room, wasn't it? The spheres? It was not. Okay. Let's just do that open then. We've clicked all the buttons. You can see the blood here. See it right there? This, on the other side of this, is the trap that can insta-kill Xanathar. Okay, this led to the spheres room. So we had one orb of power, but we needed a second. Oops, and apparently a third as well. There is one left if we wanted to take it and deliver it to the devouring oracle, but no, we'll just press on. Okay, now this is back on my map again. And I think we've been everywhere here already. The orbs are back. Oh, but this is now open. That Okay, that door wasn't open before. And this is still a dead end. This should lead us back...
Oh, uh, to some place. What is this? Stone for substance. Stone for strength. Stone for animation. Oh, can I... Oh! Uh, does that literally mean a stone? Like a rock? Or does that mean like one of our spheres uh, of stone for something? Let's find out. Let's give it a rock here. What, what does this sign say? For substance, for strength, for animation. I'm guessing it they're potions you get. No. Okay, well, it doesn't work that way at least. Okay, you know, I, I don't care. Let's just move on. <laughs> what else is there around here? Oh, God! I was like, what is that? That looks like a hole in the wall. <laughs> That's more like it. That's the stuff I would expect to find down here in this horrible dungeon. I would expect to find holes in the wall stream fireballs at, at this last uh, this last level. Uh, now we'll just all rest here for a week. We'll kind of party, hang out. People will talk about those weird uh, plinths down the road and about what animation would have you could be. Someone will walk down there and sing to them, I suppose. Someone will put their weapons on and see if they get anything special. But nothing happened in the end. Okay. Uh, now we can, I suppose, cast Invisibility again. Save the game. And I think we've been... I think we've been here before. This is a teleporter? Yep. All right, then. So we have been to the very limited areas on my map. And I did not find what I'm looking for. There's the spheres again. I think I'm looking for that one room with the four pressure plates. Which will be this way. This is the only one we haven't taken, and I'm thinking this is the only spot we haven't stepped in and checked. We've been down every other passage I can think of in on this floor 12. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like the look of this. This is a big open room. Well, not that big compared to other rooms we've been in, but it's large. So, despite my traps, you petty hirelings of the Lords of Waterdeep managed to make it here after all. How unfortunate for you. How sad for me as well. I enjoyed immensely watching you fight my minions and stumble through my traps. Of course I'm responsible for creating the traps. Just as I'm responsible for creating the plan that will bring all of Waterdeep under my absolute control. You, of course, cannot be allowed to interfere with my brilliant plan. Surrender to me now, and perhaps I will grant you mercy. <laughs> Xanthar is rather quick. I, I'm rather quick because I keep I keep uh keep bumping into things. Oh, you can't even use the wand, a Anya. You can't even use the wand. That sucks.
Oh. Okay, that's how it works. <laughs> so the, the great power of it is to push it back. Stop swapping, please. Don't swap. This is the final fight. Oh, right. Okay, so we're we're actually not supposed to fight him. We are supposed to push him into the uh, the death the death trap. But I mean, I've killed beholders before in Dungeons Dragon games. They're not, they're not that hard. You just can't let them look at you at all. As the party picks through the remains of Xanathar's shattered body, a teleport triggers about them. As Xanathar's lair fades from view, everyone prepares for battle and thinks, What now? A stately marbled room fades in around the party. Two stone columns flank a large throne. Sunlit streams in through the windows. Clean air blows in from an open door. This is Peregrion's public hall. At last, the party is free from the dungeons underwater deep. You have killed Xanathar and saved Waterdeep from his evil, Paragon Paladin's son exclaims. We were wise to pick such talented and resourceful adventurers as our agents. You gave them nothing when they walked in here, Lords of Waterdeep. You just promised them they could keep whatever garbage they picked up in the sewer system, you pieces of filth. God, I hate you. What happened was you went lowest bidder, and it so happened they managed to still they still managed to complete the quest, the impossible quest you gave them. And you admit it, you had no clue Xanathar was down there. You just you you mentioned like some sort of plot. You had no clue what that plot was. You thought it was kobolds and slugs in the sewer system, which is why you hired a bunch of of, of noobs to go down there and do it. For crying out loud. For today. Let thee be proclaimed the heroes of Waterdeep, and let all know of your brave deeds. Congratulations on your successful quest. And then in, and then in proper 80s standard Nintendo Entertainment System hard game fashion, it just ends. <laughs> that's all you freaking get, for crying out loud. Oh man, well that's disappointing. Well, anyway, everyone, hello. I hope the recording came out well here at the very end. Uh, we're done. Uh, we have successfully gone through Eye of the Beholder. The adventurers managed to complete the task. And the game has now been completed. So I'm going to move these folks to the front line. Get them equipped properly. And I will see you all in the second Eye of the Beholder. I think we'll probably have time to beat it before September rolls around. Yep, all right. So thank you guys for watching. This was a good deal of fun to play and remember. And I will see you all in the second one. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Take that, Beholder. Yeah, you weren't so tough.